So, um, that was a movie. Um, yeah, uh, as you see by the title, uh, I just saw the new A24 movie, Lamb. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because I kind of felt like uh, when I'd leave this movie, I'd have this reaction. Um, if you guys don't know, Lamb is uh, it's an Icelandic movie. It's, uh, like I said, it's A24's newest release, and being a huge fan, I wanted to check it out. Um, <laughs> um, a lot of you have probably seen the trailer, I'm assuming, if you're watching this. So, yeah, you, you know it's a weird movie just by the trailer. Um, yeah, so, um, I really don't know what to say right now. Um, that was interesting. So, um... I didn't know anything about the movie aside from the trailer. Like, I watched that, you know, a couple times, um, and that was it. Like, I didn't know any plot details, really, aside from the the lamb stuff. Um, I'm not going to, like, do a summary of the movie or anything like that, like, the basic summary, you know, without spoilers or anything. Like, I'm not even going to do that because, like, I feel like the less you know about this movie, the better. Um, I will say um, it is very slow burn at the beginning, especially, which... You know, it's fine. Like, I, I didn't mind it. It was okay. Um, but it does pick up quite a bit. So if you're not a fan of, like, slow burn things, but you do want to check this out, after you make it past, like, the first part of the movie, you'll you'll, you'll see what I mean. It picks up. So, um, yeah. Uh, Jesus. This was something. Uh, <laughs> uh, man. Uh, I will do a spoiler section at the end of the video because there's quite a few things I need to discuss. Um, so go see this movie, avoid spoilers, avoid any sort of highly recommended. Like it's, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, especially with a group of people, because, um, I was kind of worried when I went to see this, that there wouldn't be anybody in the theater. Cause I would like to, you know, I like to see people's like reactions to things, you know, certain movies. So, you know, in this case, it's an A24 movie. It's not super, you know, like blockbuster, you know, it's not like a huge Marvel movie or anything like that. So, um, there's not going to be as many people in the crowd, but thankfully my showing had quite a few people in there. So it was pretty fun watching it with those people. Um, and yes, it's not playing in every theater. Um, I don't think cause the, the two theaters that I usually go to like the most, it wasn't playing it though. So I kind of had to drive a little bit to go see it, but it wasn't, it's not totally out of the way. So it's okay. Um, yeah, this was, uh, <laughs> this was really interesting. So, um, I know I'm being totally vague right now, but like I said, I, I the less you know about this movie, the better experience I think you're going to have, because I did not know what the hell was going to happen, and man, um, it was very, it was very well done. Like, the cinematography, the acting, everything about it. Like, um, there was one shot in particular, it was, uh, towards the beginning of the movie, where there's a character walking, um, and in the background, like you could see like mountains and stuff like that. So I don't know how they filmed this. It was really interesting. So the character's walking forward because that's what's happening in the, you know, in the plot. The character's just walking on a field, just walking forward. And the camera is locked on the person and the background is also locked. Like the background's not moving at all, but the person looks like they're walking in place. I don't know how to explain it. You'll see what I mean when you watch the movie. It's like a quick little shot, but I just thought, I saw it, you know, it's, I thought it was very fascinating. Um, it's a weird thing. Like, the guy's walking in... It looks like he's walking in place, and the background's not moving. The camera appears to not be moving, and somehow he's walking forward. I don't know how they did it. Um, but, yeah, the cinematography was excellent. Um, it's Icelandic, um, so it's subtitled, obviously, which, you know, if you're not a fan, oh well, but, you know, I didn't have a problem with it. Um, you know, I don't mind reading subtitles. It doesn't matter to me. Um... Yeah, so this was, uh, it was, it was crazy. Like, it's not, I mean, it's not the craziest A24 has ever done, I don't think, but it's, it's pretty wild. Um, yeah, it's, it really felt like Midsummer meets The Witch. That's how I would, how I would describe it. Um, but it's not, like, action-packed or anything, so don't expect, like, an action-packed thing. But, like, there are moments throughout that are just, like, whoa. Um, I really don't know what the hell I would rate this movie. Um, <laughs> and, uh, oh, I gotta mention, too, the only actor 
that I really, uh, though, I mean, it's not a huge cast, but like, uh, Numi Rapace, that's her name, right? The main actress. She was in, um, Prometheus and she was in the, uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo movies, the Swedish ones. Um, so I recognized her and she was fantastic. Like, honestly, she gave a great performance. Like, all the people in the movie are great, but like, her especially. Um, in the drama, there's a lot of good drama in this, like, really well done drama. Um, great character work, just, yeah, everything, like, and also, it's not an exposition dump, like, you kind of have to figure things out for yourself, if you, if you get what I mean, like, I always like to compare, um, like, movies like that to Green Room, if you've seen the movie Green Room, another A24 title, that one is the king of <laughs> no exposition at all, you just need to figure out what's happening for yourself, you know what I mean, um, that's an excellent movie, by the way, if you've never seen it, uh, yeah, I don't know what I would rate this. On a technical level, it's excellent. Um, Story-wise, it's good. It's just... I don't want to let anybody down, but the ending uh, kind of felt unresolved for me. Like, they didn't... I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, obviously. I mean, I, that might be spoilerish, but the ending... It's, like, kind of... I mean, it, it does resolve... Also, It resolves, but it doesn't resolve at the same time. You'll see what I mean. Um, that was my only real issue, maybe. I didn't hate the ending, though, but, um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was interesting. So, definitely check this movie out. I'm still trying to think what, what I would rate it. <sighs> God. I'll, I want to say, like, 9 out of 10, but I'll just give it an 8.5. Um, I'm de I'll definitely buy the movie when it comes out. So, maybe, like, I'll, you know, when I watch it more down the line I might like it more but yeah I'll give a eight and a half um out of ten it's just everyone should see it though like even if it was a bad movie um for what it is you have to you have to check it out like it's just so unique I can't really explain it um so yeah I think that's that's it for the non-spoiler part so for spoilers um leave the video go watch this movie it's wild it's it'll just blow your mind in certain parts all right so um Spoilers now. For those of you who've seen it, we're going to have a little talk here. I don't know any of the, uh, the back, like, is this, this is not based on any, like, stories or anything. Like, this is, like, an original story, I'm assuming. Um, what is that thing? What is that thing? That, not, not the kid, the, the, the father. What the hell is that thing? Um, now, at first, when they, uh, showed the dog getting killed... I was like, oh, that must be, like, some crazy dude who decided to fuck a lamb or whatever, or fuck a sheep, whatever. You know, Jay and Silent Bob strike back. This dude wants to fuck a sheep. Um, so I was like, oh, so that's why the uh, Ata is uh, half human, half sheep. Well, apparently, it wasn't a human. It was actually just, it was a half human, half sheep as well. So where did that thing come from? Um, so, oh, man... And that was terrifying, too. When you see the dog get killed off screen, and then it shows, like, the close-up of uh, Ata's eye, you could see, like, the silhouette of the, the monster. And I was like, oh, that must be some, like, crazy guy or whatever. Some, like, hyped-up, I don't know, bath salts, <laughs> crazy dude. Um, man, that was terrifying. Um, yeah, and I loved, I loved the relationship between, you know, the... the I guess you could say the parents with the kid, um, you know, uh, Maria and um, Ingvar. And, uh, yeah, they it, it really felt like a cozy, nice little family. I was like, man, I'd love for them to have a happy ending, but, you know, it's A24, so that's not going to happen. Uh, dude, that thing at the end, man, and I was really hoping she'd go after it. But, no, what I was trying to say earlier, it resolves the story of revenge because she... So, it's basically the father's getting back at her for killing the mother, essentially. So, like, she shot the mother with the rifle, and now the father shot the father with the rifle. And then now it's, like, payback. And this is my kid, so I'm going to take it. It's mine. Um, so, that resolves that issue. Um, I doubt there's, you know, they're not going to do a sequel, obviously. They don't really... Yeah, this this is not the kind of movie that would get a sequel. But, like, if they were to, like, expand upon it, you know, it would obviously be, like, another revenge thing. But, no... I get it. I get why they ended it that way. Um, but personally, I would have loved to seen her go after that thing and, you know, kill it, obviously, and reunite with the baby. Um, so, man. 
Uh, that was something. Um, and yeah, the, the little kid was, uh, you know, that was sad when uh, Ingvar was dying and the kid was cuddled up next to him. Man, I really felt for that. Um, and the poor dog. Now, uh, also, the love triangle stuff was actually really well done, too, I think. At first, I didn't like Peter, obviously, because he was going to kill the kid, but he, you know, changed his mind. He turned out to be, you know, a much better guy. Um, and, it's, you know, apparently they had a thing in the past, him and uh, Maria. And uh, also, I guess her and um, Ingvar had a kid that died, and they named the lamb after the kids because they had the same name. Um, and then also... You know, people, I heard people, like, whispering to each other about the time travel thing. Because early in the movie, they talked to each other about time travel randomly. So, I was like, they're not going to do time travel in this, are they? Now, I'm wondering, is there some, is it somehow involved in, in the story and I'm just not picking up on it? Like, is that thing from the future? Like, what is that thing? Um, or is it from the past? You know what I mean? I really, I really should have, like, looked up trivia and stuff for this. I, you, anytime I see a movie, I, like, go on IMDb and I go to, like, the trivia section. Just so I learn stuff about the movie. Um, I didn't do that, you know, before I did this review, so maybe I should read that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know any of the... I'm still kind of clueless, you know what I mean? Even after seeing the movie. Like, I don't know what any of the inspiration was for this movie, like, how they came up with any of this shit. Like, man. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I think that might be it for the spoilers. Um, I might have covered everything there. Um, yeah, so anyways, let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments, and, uh... <laughs> Man, I'm just, uh, this one's gonna stay with me for a while. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'm sure you watched it if you're watching this part of the video. But anyways, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.